Hello there ladies and gentlemen and however you may identify. I am the Common Sense Guy, some people may know me better as Jason. How are you all doing today? I would like to be talking to you today about the Liverpool Women's Hospital bombing. Uh, in my opinion, a, a terrorist attacks, which is what we'll get into and what we'll actually talk about today. But I just wanted to point out that there is not going to be any like and shares and anything else like that. That's not what today's video is about. It's not about anything else like that. The monetization has gone from the channel on this particular video for a start. I would just want to make people aware of something that I have found out through the internet, through Twitter, and from doing my own research, by the way, I would like to point out, doing my own research as well. And in my opinion, I don't think, now as bad as trying to bomb a hospital actually is, and as heinous and diabolical as it is, I, I don't think that the hospital was actually the target. To do with the timing, the circumstances, and how close to the vicinity of a cathedral, which I will get into in this video, I, I do not think that the hospital was the actual original target. And I think that the heroics of the taxi driver needs to be applauded. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, and however you may identify, let's get into this video and let's start from the beginning. Right, so let's start off with, is this an, a terrorist attack? So to me, it seems like it's in a terrorist attack because of the bomb that was a suicide bomb or seems to have been reported as such, which will be linked down below as it being a, a belt type structure or a vest type structure that actually was on the passenger of the taxi and was blew up from, from that person. So I would presume that it was a suicide bomb and I would presume that that's to do with a terrorist attack. Um, another contributing factor to this is the fact that Merseyside police have arrested three other people besides the fourth that unfortunately blew himself up have arrested those three other people as well that could be involved with this so counter-terrorism and um, anti-terrorism police have gone forward and have gone to properties in Kensington area and have arrested three other people that they think are to be a part of this now before the video goes any further I'm not looking to blame any particular groups as some people are going to naturally assume that this is an Islamic attack that's trying to do some, some, some sort of form of terrorist attack, right? Well, in actual fact, there is a possibility that it could be the IRA. There's a possibility that it could be anti-vaxxers. There's a possibility that it could be Antifa. Now, I personally don't think is any of the the latter. I, I personally think that it would be an Islamist attack, but that's my opinion. Nothing is confirmed. That's why we wait and find out what the actual information is and wait for it to be confirmed. So with that being said and why I think that this is a terrorist attack and why I think that it will be confirmed as a terrorist attack, let, let's go on to say, did the attack target the hospital or was it the actual remembrance service that is literally less than a mile away from the hospital literally a mile away from the hospital in a taxi so the people themselves are involved which i will show you in this uh, google map right here come from kensington and the taxi driver was going towards the Liverpool Women's Hospital, which, as you can see, is around about there with a the big H on it. Not, not the one at the top, because that's the university hospital, but the one that actually says the Liverpool Women's Hospital, where the bend is in the road. Now, where that bend is in the road is allegedly where the bomb actually went off. So... I want to point out that if something is less than a mile away that has a very good chance of having a more of a national outcry and more of a national impact than... Uh, and by the way, I'm not trying to belittle the attack that's happened on the hospital. I, I'm sure and I do think that it is already a massive gross 
attack on our sovereignty, so to speak, as well. So I'm not trying to belittle the idea of the attack on the hospital. I just don't think that that's the actual initial target. I think that it was a byproduct. I think because of the driver and how he reacted to the situation, I I think that that's where the target fell. But but let's, let's carry back to being more factual on this, shall we? So the Merseyside police went up to Kensington to arrest the other three people that I mentioned before. And as you can see, that is point A on the map that I'm showing here again. So if you follow the road where the cabbie was, which is called Mr. Dave Perry, and no, not the one that you're thinking of, this one's actually a good one, which, I'll be honest, I think this is the reason why the BBC and Sky News haven't actually named the driver, because unfortunately the name is almost identical, actually is identical to, uh, unfortunately, the, um, the R-ist that was uh, caught about three, four years ago, uh, the black cabbie driver that was finally arrested for um, arring some women in his, in his cab. So I think that's the reason why that uh, Mr. Perry hasn't been mentioned in the, the news cycle, so to speak. But he should be. I, I do think that he is a absolute hero. But getting back to, to the more factual aspect of this. So as we get to where the hospital is and where the bend is in the road, you can see that it's going towards the Georgian Quarter in Liverpool, which is where the actual cathedral service was going to be for the remembrance silence at 11 o'clock. Now, I can show you the cathedral source, which is going to be right here, to actually say that this is going to happen at this time and where it is, and to show you that it is less than a mile away from where the bomb actually went off. So, why didn't the actual driver get to where he was going. So why, why didn't the bomb go to where I think that the target was? And the, the, the actual point to that is, well, because Mr. Perry went out of his way to get out of a moving vehicle, lock the doors, and then the bomb went off with the passenger inside of the car. So the actual passenger couldn't get out of the car because the doors were locked and it maybe didn't have enough time to get out or anything else like that and the bomb went off so that's the reason why i i think that the target was the actual remembrance sunday and not the hospital right so i have a quick update for you and that update unfortunately has to be that the police have finally confirmed that it is generally and actually, as the police have declared this, to be a terrorist incident. Now, there hasn't been too much more information linked to this, as it's only just happened today, which is Monday the 15th, and it only happened on Sunday the 14th. So, all the information is starting to trickle out very, very slowly, unfortunately. But but it's get getting there. We're finding out more. We're, we're finding out more all the time. But I wanted to put in this video that it is actually confirmed that it was a terrorist attack and there is now five people that have been involved in this attack including the person who unfortunately blew himself up it was also confirmed as well that it is an ied that the person in the car had on themselves as well which I will talk about later on when we get into the conclusion of the video, but I just wanted to confirm that the link that I now have in the Google document down below has now been updated as well. So please have a read, go through all the documents, show where I've actually got all my information from, and unfortunately it has now been confirmed as being a terrorist attack. Now back to your regular programming, I suppose. My conclusion on this, is, and this is only my personal belief, um, we will not know for certain, obviously, until the police talk to the other guys to find out what the plans were, what they were targeting, who, what, where, and how, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> but it is my belief that their target was the cathedral. Now, attacking a hospital is obviously diabolical to begin with, and I completely agree with you that in itself has become a national story. But I still think that the actual bigger story would have been to attack Remembrance Sunday for that area and I think that that would have um, 
attacked more to the point of terror and bringing notoriety to that cause, if you want to put it in, in that way. All right, the reason why I think that is because in the description box below, I have two different studies or abstracts of studies that you can look at in your own time on the Google Doc that's linked down below if you want to look at it and have a look at the sources. They, they are both there. And both of these studies seem to point to that terrorists will want to attack the biggest place with the most numbers to get the most exposure and fear of their points of view. So if you wanted to attack Christianity, you would attack the churches. If you wanted to attack a military institution because you feel that they invaded your country for no particular reason, you would attack the army institution. And there is no bigger way of attacking the institution of the army or the armed forces than Remembrance Sunday, right? So this also would bring out a moral outrage about getting back at the institution that they believe has done them wrong. So again, pointing back to what I've just said about the idea of them thinking that they have been wronged by an institution, a country, and how they would want to get back to it. So do you think that this would fit into attacking a hospital, which again, would be a normally high target by itself. But would a cathedral that has Liverpool's leaders, as in the council, the mayor, uh, the MPs, so on and so forth, and retired service members, still serving armed service members, do you think that that would have been a higher target than what the hospital would have been if you were trying to get back at institutions that you think have attacked you or invaded you for some particular reason, especially if you think that it was unjustified, which is a completely different argument. We're talking about terrorism, not about the idea of them maybe or maybe not going into a particular place warranted or unwarranted. But to me, the answer is actually quite obvious. It's the remembrance service because that would be the prize target. And I, I really want to point that out. I do think that it is the prize target. Because again, you have the military leaders that are in there. You have the Liverpool's service members that are in, in there. You have retired service members that are in there. You have previously serving people that have come back from Iraq and Afghanistan that you could physically actually attack that have been to where you think has caused you wrong and actually physically get them back. Do I think that the hospital is a high target by itself? Yeah, but I do honestly believe, and I really want to belabor this point, which is why I'm going over it again and again, and that's because it is such a high target, and it's only a mile away from the hospital, and I think that the only reason why they didn't get there, and why we're not talking about it being a Remembrance Day massacre, so to speak, and I use that term on purpose, is because of the bravery of Mr. Dave Perry. And I really do think that. So, again, I think that this is a bit of conjecture on my part. But I think what happened is Dave Perry is a hero that saved a lot of people's lives. And I think he saved the nation a mourning process as well from a direct attack on million, not millions, okay, thousands of people that have served this country either in your support or against your support, but have served this country to a T that have retired, that have been injured, that are still serving, and just people and families that are supporting them, as well as leaders that are there as well. And I just think that the obvious target would have been that service, especially as it's a mile away. So I think what happened was that the bloke, the passenger, got into the taxi and was getting close to where he would want to get out and go to where he was going. And I think he started adjusting his belt or he started to adjust his vest or he was checking the time on it and saying that he hasn't got long or something something to that effect if it was a time belt. And I think what happened was Mr. Perry saw that he was doing that in the rearview mirror or just looked around and just saw it or just felt something was off. And I think after he did that, he acted by stopping the car, getting out and locking the doors. And this is why I think that Either a timer went off for the bomb, as it was 10.59 that the bomb went off, or it was a text message that was sent by the other three people that were there to say, well, we're going to blow him up at this time, so make sure that you get there. Or it was a signal that was sent via other people. Or it could even be a manual release that the actual passengers decided that he was going to do because he thought he was going to get caught, so he thought he'd try and do the damage where he was. 
Now, do I have any sort of backing for this? No, I don't. That's why I said that this is conjecture. I just think that with it being so close, less than a mile away, again, look at the map. I'll show you the map again. It's literally a six-minute walk from where the actual hospital would have been to where the cathedral is, and it would have been a direct run where the other guy could have got out and then run into it and got as close as possible. So I do think that this is a case, for my, my opinion, where he was actually attacking or targeting the actual Remembrance Sunday. And I do honestly believe this. I would like to point out as well that the reason why I'm doing this video is not actually to cause any anger towards any sort of uh, any sort of particular group. I'm not trying to say, oh, the Muslims did this, or the Islamists did this, or the IRA did this, or Antifa did this, or the goddamn anti-vaxxers did this. I don't know, which is why I will wait. I have an inkling that I think that it may have been an Islamic terrorist attack, but that's not confirmed and I'm not going to spread that as that's the truth. I don't know. And I don't think it's fair to target people that believe in a particular faith that's similar to how the terrorists believe in to say that they are the same. So I don't want anybody to go out of the way to start attacking Islamists, uh, people that support Islam or that are Muslims. I don't want that. I also don't want people to go out of their way to start attacking people that are anti-vaxxers or uh, Antifa. Although I don't actually think that they were involved in this. I'm just saying that it could have been. So I'm trying to actually point out the fact that I think that Mr. Perry is a hero. And I honestly believe that without any conjecture whatsoever. I believe that he was a hero. I believe that he was willing to sacrifice himself to be able to make sure that the Remembrance Sunday went on. And to make sure that there was no tragic life lost that day. Mr. Perry is a hero. But as well, I don't think that the hospital was the actual target. I think the actual target was a Remembrance Sunday. And I really want people to actually think about that. And again, this isn't to stir up hatred and this isn't to try and go it's us against them or anything else like that. It really isn't. It's more of a case of thinking about our integration and how we actually try and help people. And how when we do invite people into the country, that we try to make sure that they're integrated. We try to make sure that we welcome them with open arms. That we try and make sure that they're not indoctrinated into hateful rhetoric. Where they're willing to lose their lives to attack institutions that may or may not have anything to do with the heartache or disasters that have befallen them. And I do think that this is a video that needs to be shared. Now, again, I'm not asking for likes and subscribes or anything else like that. I really don't care about that, at this, for this video at least, if I'm honest. It's more of a case of, I think that Dave Perry's name should be put out there as a hero. And I really do think that what should be is telling the story that I don't think the hospital, as bad as it was to be targeted, was the actual target. With all of the information that we know from an empirical sense, when we study why terrorists do what terrorists do, which is to cause the, the biggest harm, to cause the biggest amount of terror, to attack you when you feel that you're most safe, what would be more safe than knowing that you've got all the armed forces around you, the police that are looking after you, your MPs that are there, your leaders, your civic leaders that are around you, and then for a bum to go off in the midst of all of that? What would be more terrorising than that and that fits in more with attacking the service than what it would do for attacking the hospital it makes more sense but again i think the reason why that this didn't happen the way that it was supposed to thank god that it didn't is because of mr perry again i just want to reiterate that the video isn't to cause any sort of hatred to any sort of group as we don't know what group has done this what group hasn't done this and again, that doesn't mean that any particular religion is at fault of this. After all, terrorism comes in all shapes and sizes. It is more to point out that I don't think that the target was the hospital. I think that the target itself was the Remembrance Sunday. And hopefully with the sources that I've linked in the Google document that's listed down below, will provide you with the links that you need to be able to do your own sort of research rather than listening to me. And find out that it probably does make more sense that it would have attacked the service, especially with the time of the bomb. 
The time of the bomb itself is such a critical point that I almost didn't cover. I almost completely forgot. The actual bomb itself went off at 10.59. 10.59. Now, what on Sunday was so specifically important about 10.59 rocking on to 11 o'clock? That's right. It was the moment of silence, the moment of remembrance. What would have been the most biggest chance of causing the most panic, the most terror, than when we're thinking about our fallen, our dead, and all of the people that have actually fought in all of the wars, enemies, friends, heroes, horrible people, when we're remembering all of them, would have been to attack then and there. Not a hospital. Again, hospital, very high target in general. But that would have been a better target. And it being only a mile away, I think is the correct one that they were going for. And I think Mr. Perry saved a hell of a lot of people from what he'd done. And even if the target was the hospital, the bravery of Mr. Perry needs to be recognised in general. And if by that only, the story down below, even though it's by the sun unfortunately, is linked down below in the sources, please share it just for that aspect of supporting Mr. Perry. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, and however you may identify, I bid you farewell. I bid you adieu. Take care. And I hopefully I'll see you all again real soon. Bye-bye for now.